You've just heard the story of what we call the triumphal entry. When Jesus came into Jerusalem and we saw the nature of the relationship of that crowd to Jesus. We saw them, saw them singing praises and calling out Hosanna to this one who enters Jerusalem. Now, when Jesus entered Jerusalem, he entered as a king. It was his conquering of Jerusalem. He was coming to take over, as it were. Not in a military sense, so he rode on a donkey. He was a king of peace coming to bring his influence, to bring his power to Jerusalem. The first thing he did when he went to Jerusalem was go into the temple where he found people behaving rather badly, selling things at corrupt prices and, and trading in the temple complex in the place where the Gentiles worshipped or were meant to worship and taking over the place in a way which was un disrespectful and you know what he did there. He overturned tables and he shouted out something like, you have turned my father's house into a den of thieves. It's meant to be a place of worship. So you, you've got this context where Jesus enters Jerusalem the nature of the relationship, the communion between the people on the road into Jerusalem and you might notice the relationship of the people when he entered Jerusalem was different. The people in power didn't appreciate what Jesus was doing. I wrote something as a um, reflection on this particular day some time ago and I put the glasses on because it's important to see. It's a reflection on how we might have responded to Jesus' entry into our place. Would we have responded like the disciples on the road or would we have responded like the leaders of the people in the temple who didn't appreciate what he did very much? I call this enter at your own risk. If Jesus entered our town with pomp and ceremony, would it be a lonely donkey ride or would you be walking at his side shouting praises to his majesty? If Jesus entered our church, what difference would he make? What tables would he overturn? What lessons would we have to learn? What cleansing would we have to take? If Jesus entered our hearts to reign in there as king, to bring to us his healing power, hope and peace on us to shower, would we let him do a thing or would we close the door and shut it tight, reminding him he has no right to interfere in private life? That's ours. And he must let, it be, let us be independent and democratic. Religion must be pragmatic for Christian life, though well and good, is not as practical as it should to make us rich and powerful. But when Jesus entered Jerusalem, he made a mess of things. He wanted changes in the temple, money grubbings, just a sample, enough to make a person cringe. So Jesus, when it comes to entering, you better learn a thing or two. It's dangerous to make us change. Don't try our lives to rearrange. We might do something mean to you. Crosses might be out of fashion, but that will not quell our passion to resist your coup to rule our hearts. We'll fight, for you must let us be independent and democratic. Religion must be pragmatic for Christian life, though well and good is not as practical as it should, and we might hang you on a tree. My reflection finishes in a bit of a sharp place. But the intention is that we look into ourselves and think about the nature of our relationship with God. Is it a sincere relationship of love based on the context of our faith? Or is it a relationship based upon our culture and the things that matter to us everywhere else but here? 
Communion, this service, draws us to what is important. Jesus asks us to join him in the risk of change. Repentance, we call it. Join us, join him in the risk of loving the world. That's what led him to a cross. Join him in the risk of being people of faith in God.